Do you want to read my emails? Just from the last week or so. 610 is buried alive, and it's just, you know, the idea that your girlfriend would ask you to see your emails, and if that determines how close you are and whether your relationship can work or not. But who is that? You calm down, it's just my office. Just your assistant, you mean? Well, yeah, she does work for me. And what else does she do for you? Alexis really uh, brings this interesting quality to her. You, you kind of going from minute one, is she crazy? Is she this, is she that? And I think we'll ultimately get in this episode, wow, this girl is off the deep end. Melrose is real. Phil likes you for the role, but you'd have to test for the network. How many other people are testing? They have no one else right now. I like those odds. We've said from beginning one he was a regular at Melrose. He got fired. We don't know why. Sexual harassment, couldn't act, whatever it was. Well, we're gearing up to do Melrose 2009. You will work with me again? <laughs> yeah, Johnny. In a second, man. You know, we bring uh, this character, Phil Yagoda, who was the original producer of Melrose, who's now producing um, the new one, who's uh, played by Bill Fickner, who is insane. <laughs> He's just so freaking good, and we got so lucky to get him to do this. Johnny, you've been my one client for over two years and I will continue to treat you like you're my only client for the rest of your career. Will Ari? Oh, we're learning that Lloyd cares about drama and that he really has his best interest at heart. And we also learned that Ari has his best interest at heart, even though ego and all of that comes into play. All right, Lloyd, I'll sign with you. We're gonna make magic together, Johnny Drama. Thanks, Lloyd. What we strive to do our best is that absolute reality with drama, with comedy, with, uh, with human emotions that shows something about the reality of Hollywood out here. Um, while still hopefully entertaining. You know it, son! <laughs> <laughs>